Galaxy Man with the right kind of skill set is becoming increasingly popular across our coast communities. Many calling him that tree guy and to others an animal hero. Amber Spradley has his story. Blake Steinwinder from Biloxi enjoys one unique hobby, climbing trees. He started exploring young in past Christian. I was kind of like a meerkat. I would find the biggest, tallest pine tree. I would climb up one, scan, see which one's the tallest, and I would do this and just go up there and I would sit in these trees. A bird's eye view above the canopy. It's quiet and uh, the bugs can't reach you up there at all. He was trained on the job as a tree trimmer. He'd mastered climbing in about 10 months. You really got to trust a tree and really put you, I trust trees more than ladders. He got a call to save a cat stuck in a tree for six days. That was two years ago, and since then, he's rescued 17 across the coast. Hi, honey. <laughs> You'd be surprised of how many cats get stuck in trees. There's a lot that I can't even get to. It's a pretty common thing, and I didn't realize that when I became a tree climber. While retrieving the animal may be the right thing to do, it's also risky business. If you call the fire department, will a fire department come? They may, but they may not. That's up to the policy of that particular fire department. Harrison County Fire Chief Pat Sullivan has responded to many catastrophes like this throughout his career. If we can get to the cat and we can help, then we absolutely will try. But there's times when the cat is just too high up in the tree or we can't get close enough to it with their trucks. Sullivan says he welcomes the assist from professionals like that tree guy and other climbers. We are glad that somebody would step forward and say, I'm going to try to help in this kind of situation. But remember, safety first. If you don't have the training, you're encouraged to call someone who does. Every single tree is, you know, practice. Every tree is a different tree. Every It's, it's always a different climb. It's never the same thing. In Biloxi, Amber Spradley, WLOX News Now. <laughs> Blake Steinwinder operates on donations alone. If you would like to donate, we have a link attached to this story on our website, WLOX.com.